Welcome to the shop, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be doing an Av inspired review. If you don't know who Av is, it's a, it's a guy. It's a Canadian guy. He's got a YouTube channel, capital A, lowercase v, capital E. Go check it out. Now, if you're easily offended, especially by swear words, maybe don't go check it out. Um, I'm, I'm doing an inspired review. I'm not going to be using cuss words because uh, I'm not Canadian, so I don't need that. Uh, but I may flash a bad word on the screen because I want to show you what I got from Av not too long ago. Uh, one of them is this sticker. Uh, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put that, but it's going to go in the shop here somewhere. Uh, here's another one. This could go on a lot of things. Uh, this is one of my favorites. These are all uh, from directly from Av in Canada. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. I think it's good advice. That's all I'm saying. Put that right there. So what we're reviewing today is actually a switch. Uh, this switch actually came off of my airplane. Some of you know that I, I bought an airplane recently. And this is the, uh, it's called a lift detector. Uh, it's basically the stall warning switch. It, it runs the horn for the stall warning. Uh, what happens is it's kind of mounted on the bottom of the leading edge of the wing. When the air starts going this way over the wing, as opposed to splitting, you know, wherever it normally goes, it lifts this little tab and the stall warning horn goes off. Uh, but today, when I was out flying, it didn't horn, it didn't work. We stalled the airplane a number of times and nothing happened. Um, so I took it off, I'm looking at it, I tested the connection, the wire from the cockpit, uh, from the horn itself, when you ground it out, the horn works fine, so the wire's good, the horn's good, so there's a problem with this switch. Um, I'm looking at this, you know, you see this is, this says common, this says normally open, uh, and then this just goes to presumably a ground. So you see a potential for problems with this connection, this connection, this connection, this connection, and then the connection between this mounting plate and the wing itself, because it actually, it, I mean, it has to ground on the wing, otherwise it's not gonna work. Uh, so switch works, everything works. It's a problem with the ground. You can tell it's dirty. Um, and these are, these are called Tinnerman nuts. They're coated with zinc chromate. They're actually steel. So we have aluminum, steel, stainless steel, and then the connector, the connecting metal is also aluminum. So lots of problem, potential problems areas here. Uh, dissimilar metal corrosion, uh, problems with these Tinnermans not, just not conducting electricity because they're coated. Um, I don't know. So anyhow, today what I'm going to do is just sort of clean this up. Uh, I'm going to get these nuts off of here and uh, I think when I put it back on the airplane it's going to work just fine, I'm sure. So <clears throat> I got this cover off of here. Um, I mean this is, all this is is just a micro switch in here. Uh, there's nothing special about that switch at all. Um, I mean, it's probably made in the USA. It's probably like a ten or fifteen dollar unit, uh, but it's encased in this super fancy sheet metal, uh, stamped, and you know, it's got a part number and serial number. Uh, it's got all the patents listed on there. Uh, this is a this unit. This comes as a unit. You generally can't buy just parts and pieces of it. Uh, but it comes as a unit and I found them used online from a salvage company for about four hundred dollars, so uh, I'm probably not going to replace it if I don't have to. The date on here is June 5th, 1963. Uh, I believe that says 63. And if that's the case, it is original to the airplane for sure. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's what that says. So it, I mean, it may not have even ever been removed from the airplane. There's no way to tell, you know. 
But anyhow, you can see just how dirty this is. When you look at the back of this, I mean, these contact points are just, they're just dirty. They're just really, really dirty. So um, that's the only reason why this wasn't working is because there was no, no ground connection to complete the circuit. All right, so I got the uh, one contactor on there and we're gonna check continuity right there on the faceplate. She works. Now, here's the problem. Works there, but nowhere else. These Tendermans do not conduct electricity. These, these are not good. So, in order for this to work on the airplane, this metal has to contact the wing metal, or the screws that screw this on have to contact this as well as have a good ground on the wing. So I, I got to figure out if I can change these out. I don't know if these are original. Maybe somebody took it out to clean it and thought this would be an easy way to put it back in, but these are no bueno, no good at all. So uh, it, it might work if I would just put it back in. It'll make the right contacts where it needs to, but to me that that's just, that's not a good system. That, that sucks. We're going to have to figure something else out. There she is, all back in place, and... Huh.